everyone, it's Justine here, just to give you an update on what we've been learning about here at BJC. So the other weekend, Mitch and I went to the Explain Pain course, which is run by the Neuro Orthopedic Institute group. And it was all about updating our knowledge on the neuroimmune system, better understanding the research and being able to explain that to our patients. So we know that in Australia, pain is more expensive for taxpayers than cancer, diabetes and cardiovascular disease combined. And also 59% of Australians have what we would deem poor health literacy or not really understanding a lot about their health and what's going on. And why this is all important is because from the research that has been done into the Explain Pain course and learning about pain, that we know if patients engage in a program of understanding and explaining pain with a therapist who's trained, one in four chronic pain patients will experience a 50% reduction in their pain at six months, which is a really significant statistic because it's equal to or better than any other current treatment available. So we know that education gives us knowledge and knowledge gives us power. And that's what we need when we're feeling quite powerless and hopeless when we're in a lot of pain. So I thought I'd share some of the nuggets or things that I felt were really important and really helpful from the course um, that I found since then better made me able to explain pain to patients. One of these things is understanding what is the neuroimmune system and how do clinicians assess that. So the neuroimmune system is our nerves, our brain, and we understand now that it's a bioplastic thing, it's always changing. So within three months, all the cells within our brain will pretty much replace themselves. So right up until your last breath, you are always changing. And that's really powerful knowledge because when we have pain for a very long time, we know that the pathways, the ion channels, the representation of that body part in the brain starts to smudge or become blurry and change. Um, and immune cells can become active and stay active for up to 20 years after that first experience of pain. And this is why pain can become persistent and really long standing. The way that clinicians can assess this is by looking at if the patient is becoming more sensitive or painful in response to cold rather than heat, their ability to discern between two points or two point discrimination becomes a little lacking. Uh, they find that their pain is persisting beyond what we would, exp what we would deem uh, normal for that kind of an injury. Uh, and the pain can become unpredictable or it seems to have a mind of its own. So I hope you found that information interesting or helpful in any way. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to comment uh, and we'll be posting a little bit more in this content in the future. So any questions, any ideas, things you're interested in, please let us know.